Today, we therefore demand the following. That the Jubilee Party National Elections Management Body immediately makes known to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, the Kenya National Qualifications Authority, and the Commission on uh, and the Commission on University Education, Kenyatta University, and any other institution of higher learning, and the general public, all certificates as presented by the incumbent to the board in seeking to, to be nominated as the Jubilee flag bearer. The Kenya National Qualifications Authority, the Commission on University Education, and all other government agencies tasked with the verification of the authenticity of the certificates determine the authenticity of the certificate as presented to the Elections Management Board by the incumbent and disqualify him from participating in the upcoming general election should he be found to have contravened Article 193 1b of the Constitution and Section 22 of the Elections Act 20, 2011. We will also be writing to the political parties dispute tribunal, uh, tribunal to seek their guidance and action on the conduct of the Jubilee Party. We urge the IBC to thoroughly scrutinize Jubilee Party lists, specifically the Taita County list of nominees, beginning with the governor, the incumbent, to ascertain the authenticity of the declaration they have made, and that IBC should not receive any nomination papers from the incumbent until after the Kenyan National Qualification Authority verifies and confirms that they are authentic and not a fabrication of what was presented and uttered in 2017. Finally, we will also be moving to court to seek determination on the eligibility of the incumbent to run for elective office in 2022. This is a report signed by Honorable Rachel Makazi from Jubilee Party, who is with us here, Patience Nyange from NAC Party, uh, Honorable Faustin Mgeni, who is on his way here, the Service Party, Honorable Elijah Mondoye with us here from the PA, Honorable Stephen Mokesi, People's Empowerment Party, and Engineer John Mrutu from UDA. I have not had any meeting, any agreement, whether with uh, His Excellency Samboja or with my party uh, leaders, not um, Heshimiwa Naomi Shaban or my party leader, who is His Excellency. So I want to say that uh, very clearly, I was expecting that we go for nominations. Tuliko tunangojia mchujo, tuliko tumeutarajia, tumezunguka, watu wametuambia wanangojia mchujo. Sasa jana, uh, wakati certificate imepeanwa, it was a concern for so many people, some radio, some TV people were calling me to ask if there were any agreements. I want to categorically state there were no agreements. I have not been called to negotiate anything. So if he has the certificate, as people are saying, or what was seen on television, it is through the back door. Because me, I have not been involved, and I'm a fellow contestant for this gubernatorial seat of Taita Taveta. My names are there. I have paid my 250000 like him as a man. I think he has paid 500000 And uh, I was believing that uh, as Jubilee, we have rebranded and we are a party that wants to oversee, since Jubilee is the party in power right now, that we are going to oversee credible uh, elections on the 9th.